All right, folks. We're going back to War of the Spark. I know nobody cares anymore. I know everyone's only cares about one thing in this universe. It's Modern Horizons, and it's ridiculous. We're gonna, of Wizards R&D saying, hey, guys, want to see something funny? We're going to make Modern Horizons. We're going to tell people it's print to demand. We're going to scare the crap out of them, and then we're going to wreck the system with ridiculously powerful cards that make people lose their minds. So, we're back to doing War of the Spark, even though nobody cares anymore. Uh, Dominique C. Dominique says, uh, Rudy, uh... Please don't slap me in the face. Please give me good cards. Please just don't wreck all the financial value. I said, okay. Spark double for the nice $2 and 17 pennies. Not a bad start, at least. The key is you just don't want bulk. And then when the good cards come, that pushes you over to the profit land. Soul Diviner for the, the, the dollar. That's not that great. So yeah, so here we are, uh, a couple weeks past War of the Sparks release. The hype is finally starting to subside. Distinguished Advocate. And, um, it's, it's lasting a long time. And I only think the hype is, is pretty much subsiding only because the hype is just shifted. God eternal okra from your barbecue restaurant. We got an okra. We finally got the first one there with a burning profit. Our first foil common. So I just want to lay that out that the only reason I feel the hype and people are cooling off on this set is only because everybody's going to the next best thing. That's the human nature of it all. Oh! Oh yeah, it's just a uncommon foil Kaya. Still get excited over a planeswalker, even if even if it's like a two dollar foil. I'm like, whoa, two dollar foil, but it's a planeswalker that makes it cool. Rail Storm's got conduct problems, we know. So that's where we stand, folks. It's been a couple weeks. It's been a crazy year, man. This magic thing, you know, we knew things in 2019 were starting to go crazy, but holy potatoes, things have just been it's it's been mind-boggling, which sucks because a lot of the stores didn't make it through the lull of a couple years ago, and they're missing out. Command the Dreadhorde. So that's kind of the thing I always think about is all these stores that pretty much folded through that week time during Ixalan and Amon Cat. Roll reversal. Um. All right. Well, I guess we're getting the the cheapy bolt cards out of the way. I guess we're gonna go with that first, right? And we got uh, a tank. Are any vehicles in this set worth anything? I don't think any vehicles. That just doesn't feel like it's a thing anymore. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm like, it doesn't feel exciting or anything. Dreadhorn Butcher for the nice $1.48 and a half pennies. Alright, still not really getting us anywhere. Jace 10th and the Plain Wide Celebration with our Foil Dismissal Common. All right, well, that was the first 12 packs of the box. Only one Mythic. Um, still no Foil Rare. Uh, I'd like to see some other things. Mobilize District. We'd like to see some uh, Karn or Mr. T or a Blast Zone or some some sort of $10 plus Rare to help uh, buoy our financial numbers. All right, Dreadhorn Champion. Okay. Because we need a little bit of extra oomph if you want to deal financial value here, folks. All right, and Bolas is Citadel for the dollar ninety-three. All right, that's not the uh, rare land we were hoping for, but it's okay. It's okay. Flux Arlen and widespread brutality. Hmm. Halfway through the box, still looking at one mythic, zero foil rares, and we have missed every good rare in the set. That's fantastic. Knight the Beacon. So far, Dominique, uh, this is, you feel that achiness? That is you realizing, oh, God, what did I do with my life? Yep. Dreadhorn Arcanist for a couple dollars and a charity extractor. That's a strange looking 1-5 lifelink. Okay. That's a very, for a four drop. Um, lifelink, but it's only a one. Right. Uh, anyways, that's kind of funky. All right, and Elder Spell, infamous Elder Spell for the dollar eighties. All right. Here we go. Come on. Let's get some action here. Domri coming through for the two bucks? Really? God, I you guys have no idea how big Domri Rod, Domli Raid was back in the day of Dragon's Maze. God Eternal. Finally, God Eternal Bonbon bon has showed up. Bonbon bon Zombie God. Finally. Okay, so yeah, I guess I know everyone's going to say in the comments section, I guess we're going with the God Mythics in this box because that's all we're getting is two God Mythics, huh? Mobilized District for the Double Tap. That sucks. Two of the crappy versions. We could have used, uh, oh, I don't know, two Blast Zones instead. That would have been a lot better of an experience. And Oath of Kaya and Nissa's Triumph for the Foil Uncommon. Ah, Alright, that's kind of a 
A bit of a letdown, but it's all right. And Narset's Reversal for the $2.58. Not bad. Okay. Not a bad little cute little rare. A lot of people spec on that little guy. And Finale of Revelation. We converted over to a finale. So we are uh, two gods in a finale. Three Mythic Box. Still no foil rare. And we are missing Mr. T, Karn, all the good regular rares. Because apparently uh, my patron Dominique says, you know what, I just I don't care about good cards anymore. We're only here to get God Eternal Okras and Bonbons. That's all we want. All right, and Dreadhorn Arcanist again. Hello, duplication in one box. Can we please at least have some expensive cards? Can we just not... Why do we have to skip all the expensive cards, really? Chandra for the $3. Not bad. Better than getting a bulk 25-cent rare, folks. It's very strange, but okay. And a uh, submarine. That's not exciting at all. Hang on. Got a pile issue. Hang on. Please hold. There we go. Well, that's not great at all. Now, is it? Can we at least... Okay, here we go. Rubble Melt Eternal and uh, Sarkham the Masterless for another $2.22. Okay. Ah, well, this has been uh, Vivian. Forgot about you, little young Vivian. And a foil, a third mobilized district? Come on. Three mobilized districts in one box. Two regulars, one foil rare, just to literally irritate everybody. God Eternal oh, Ketchup has showed up. Finally, triple God box with the expensive God Eternal. You've been climbing in price, my friend. That's not bad. So we're at a four mythic box, three gods. And we got the expensive God at the old $10 plus. That's nice. Another Nissa who's shaking the world up. Foil basic land, foil planes. Not bad. Not bad at all, actually. This box is actually going to be sitting at probably a normal six to seven. This is a normal box, not a home run or not a garbage fire. Single combats. Sometimes, you know, after the crazy openings and the complete dumpster fire, sometimes it's good to just have a normal opening, folks. Another awakening. This has got to be the worst sorted single booster box. We haven't even opened the second box. We've already got doubles and triples of some of the rares. And Uji! Dr. Gluten Free Uji in the clothes. All right, not bad. All right, box one, seven out of ten. Not bad, Dominique. I think you probably got, um, I'm thinking that's about a hundred dollar box. I think you kind of broke even, maybe made for the eighty dollars you paid for the box. I think you're probably up about maybe ten, fifteen bucks. I don't think that was a home run, but you know what? It wasn't a garbage fire. You didn't really lose everything. You're not picking up extra shifts at Wendy's and Taco Bell. I think you're okay. I think you're okay. Roll reversal. I don't think you're too bad on that one. Could have been a lot worse. We've seen a few of these that are just dreadful. I'm talking just pound town, spank town, just garbage fire. Jace for the dollar. Still get excited over Jace, folks. He still does it for me. I'm like a little schoolgirl. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, you don't matter anymore. That's funny. Dreadhorn Butcher again. That is our second Dreadhorn Butcher in the two boxes. So, yeah, if we get another flipping mobilized district, I guess that's all we're doing in this opening. Enter the God Eternals, the regular rare version. I was like, can we please have a blast zone? Oh, I don't know, Mr. T, something like that. That would be very helpful. Move some commons over. Make sure they don't fall over. All right, and Ravnica at War. We did not get you in the other box. That's nice. A little bit of variety is always the spice of life, everybody. Okay, boop, boop, boop. And Soul Diviner for the double tap. Okay. People always comment. Anybody notice how quick Rudy opens booster packs? Yeah, you've done it a few times. Time Warp with a flying zombie Rudy word bird warrior. People always comment that, like, this is the fastest box opening dude in the history of box opening channels. Yeah, I've done a lot. Friend of the Wolves, Talarian, the friend of the wolves. We know. All right. Moving forward here. Here we go. All right. Sunblade, Neoform, and another double tap of Nissa. Two Nissas, one Rudy. Two Nissas, one Patron. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Here we go. Elite, Lazov, Eshuk, and a vehicle that nobody cares. Well, that's not a good sign because we're not doing as good on box two, everybody. Boop, boop, boop. And we got the Boar God. Mythic number one, box two. The Boar God. Nobody in the history of magic ever said, excuse me, I'm missing a Boar God. Like, 
who, like, how do you come up with that? That's so strange. God Eternal! All right, Randy. The God Eternal Randy is here. Golly, holy smokes. How many gods is that? That's four god cards in the two boxes? I told you. It's so weird how that is. You can always tell the type. It's like, are we going god box? What are we going? Ah, oh, come on! Flying Rudy creature, human mutant, crab arm, cape man. <sighs> well, that's crap. That's a complete letdown. That's by far. And Uji, gluten free Ujin, showing up. Not bad. You know what? Gluten free Ugin ain't bad. Not bad, folks. Not bad. All right, so you got two Ugis. That's not bad. But uh, Domri Part 2. You know, we're going to get, looks like we're going to go both boxes, and we're not going to get a Karn or a Mr. T for our $10 rare. I don't think we're going to get either one. Tamio for the $1.50, and Ice Rudy with a frozen thing in his chest. That's a, a creepy little card. All right. Yeah, I'm not, I feel like we're just, I don't know, I feel like we're not, we're just not going to get it. Vivian's Arcbow for the nice $1.78. I don't know, that's what I'm going with right now. I'm like, ugh, we're, we're kind of uh, halfway through box two. Commencing the end game, and we have not seen a single Karn, a single Mr. T, Liliana, or a Nicobolas. We have not seen any of them. Ah, oh, <laughs> there we go. Karn showed up finally. We got one. We got a nice twelve-dollar Karn, one of the best rares in the set. You can pretty much get in this. So, and a Delver onto a beautiful piece of artwork. All right, at least you got one there. I was like, Dominic, dude, are we trying to dodge all those certain cards? Feels kind of strange. All right, Murr, Folk, Bolt, and another Soren, and a Grateful Apparition, Foil Uncommon. All right. Okay. Come on. Rouse to Bolt, Emergency Zone with an Ajani with a Foil Rare is a Punch in the Balls Roll Reversal. And I dropped it. We got ourselves a Foil Roll Reversal. Well, both Foil Rares were garbage. That's not really that great. I would have loved to see something sweet. We've never seen a foil Karn or a foil Mr. T. And Cranko, the Tin Street Kingsman. I always, I always want to say Tin Kingsman. I always want to skip one of the words on that card. I don't know why. Raptor, Rampage, Gideon, and Mr. T! God! Okay. Mr. T did show up, folks. And he's got a little golem behind him. All right. Mr. T... Tefiri, Teferi the Time Rabbler, Mr. T, did show up. Wow, you did get Karn and Mr. T in box two. And a $3 Sarkum. Not bad. Okay. Wow. Okay, so box two went from about a four or five to about a seven, eight. Wow, box two is climbing right on up. And a Dreadhorn Invasion with a nice foily mountain. Always feel like you always get one foil land in every box. Anybody ever notice that? Always feels that way. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. And we've got the Dreadhorn Champion, Zombie, Minotaur, Warrior, Legendary Creature. And every word in between with Jace's Triumph. Nobody cares about Jace in this. This is like, this is like a Jaceless blah set. Okay. Cyclops, Flux, Kess and a Niv-Mizzet. Is anybody ever happy to get a Niv-Mizzet? Like, in the history of Magic, is anybody ever happy when Niv-Mizzet shows up? Seriously. Like, even, oh, look, I mean, Feather the Redeem, the Angel Rare, is worth more than flipping Niv Mizzet. Like, even in Master Products, it's like, do they purposely engineer Niv Mizzet to be a crappy card that creates disappointment every time you see the name? I don't get it. Spark Double is worth more. Like, I just don't understand why Niv Mizzet is always a bad card. Well, Rudy, if you knew how to play Pokemon, you would understand more about what you're talking about instead of rambling. No, well, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right, folks. All right, well, we're down to three, four packs left. It looks like Lily is not going to show up. Casualties of War for a double tap. Nico Bolas is not going to show up. We did get a Karn and a Mr. T, though, at the end of box two. So that's really, that's kind of a big deal. We can't really complain about that. With a tank and Creeping Panther Cat Rudy. You know, that's that's actually pretty good. Really can't bust, uh, can't bust the balls for that, everybody. That's actually not bad. Not a bad little opening, everybody, with a zombie elf. I love how the, the creature archetype, legendary creature, zombie elf, wizard, leech. Like, there's so many words on the subtypes and archetype. It's just amazing compared to back in the day where it was just, like, one word. Sometimes it wasn't even one word. Yeah! 
right in the clothes. Oh, God. Look at that, folks. Right in the clothes. Box two converts over to home run status. Nobody cares about a Hydra. Home run status. Wow. Five mythic box. Nine mythics in two boxes. Box two. Not only did you get Nico Bolas, and you've got literally a god Niv Mizzet and flipping crab Rudy. And you got Karn and Mr. T. Not bad. Well played, Dominic. Box two, solid 120, 140 box. Congratulations on the probably 30% profit. Other than that, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed yourself, the patrons, for being in Thunderdomes. And as always, thank you for allowing me the honor and privilege of entertaining you.